Melbourne, gonna be 58 laps, um, 5.3 kilometers. Uh, it's amazing track. I enjoy all the laps. I enjoy especially uh, first sector. It's very technical and very quick too. It's very important on Thursday, especially to walk around the track and have a look at the the curbs, see how wide we can go exit of the corners, how much curb we can take in uh, in, in any chicane. There's lots of contaminants in the surface that come from trucks and cars and, and all sorts that drive over the, the track. So therefore you get a lot of what we call ramp up during the weekend, so the, the track progression is significant. I think this year it will be a bit more difficult because we get the curves and the rear wing. And because you are all the time uh, between the two walls, it's very difficult for the driver to keep concentrated on the track, look at the steering wheel, what he needs to do, and curves, rear wing. If you uh, lose the concentration for a very short period of time, you can be in the wall. Uh, Melbourne's pretty hard on brakes. It's, it's in the top three or four uh, braking circuits of the, of the calendar. It's also a, it's a track that has a lot of 90 degree corners, so uh, dialing out understeer is a very important thing. When I was on the simulator on Melbourne, I find the track a bit bumpy, really quick, really fast. It's amazing. I'm confident for that track because I enjoy quite a lot the street circuit.